Did you know that the Chinese Emperor witnessed the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ? Hello and welcome to this video where we will explore the fascinating case of Christ and the Chinese Emperor. Did you know that there is evidence that the Chinese Emperor Guangwu and his astronomers witnessed the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ in the first century? Let's find out more. Emperor Guangwu was the founder of the Eastern Han Dynasty, and he ruled from 25 to 57 AD. He was a wise and benevolent ruler who restored peace and prosperity to China after a period of civil war. He was also a devout follower of the ancient Chinese religion of Taoism, which teaches about the balance of yin and yang, the two opposing forces of nature. But something extraordinary happened in the seventh year of his reign, around 31 AD that shook his worldview and made him question his beliefs. According to Chinese historical records, there was a solar eclipse on the last day of the month, which was considered a very bad omen. The emperor was so alarmed that he avoided his throne room, suspended all military activities, and did not handle any official business for five days. He also issued a proclamation that said, Yin and Yang have mistakenly switched, and the sun and moon were eclipsed. The sins of all the people are now on one man. Pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. History of Latter Han Dynasty Volume 1 Chronicles of Emperor Guangwu, 7th Year Who was this one man who bore the sins of all the people? And why did the emperor grant pardon to everyone? Could it be that he was referring to Jesus Christ, who died on the cross around the same time as the eclipse? The Bible tells us that when Jesus died, there was darkness over all the land for three hours, from noon until three in the afternoon. This was not a natural phenomenon, but a supernatural sign of God's judgment on sin and His love for humanity. Jesus took our place and paid the penalty for our sins with His blood. He died so that we could live. From the sixth hour until the ninth hour darkness came over all the land. Mark 15:33. But that's not all. Three days later, Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death and sin once and for all. He appeared to his disciples and many others, proving that he was alive and that he was indeed the Son of God. And guess what? The Chinese records also mention another celestial event that happened three days after the eclipse. They say, During the reign of Emperor Guangwu, on the day of Bing Yin of the fourth month of Jianwu, a halo, a rainbow encircled the sun. History of Latter Han, Annals No. 18, Gai Hai. A rainbow around the sun. That sounds like a glorious sight. Could it be that this was another sign from God, confirming the resurrection of Jesus Christ? The Bible tells us that God often uses rainbows as symbols of His covenant and His promises. He put a rainbow in the sky after the flood to show Noah that he would never destroy the earth again with water. He also showed a rainbow to John in his vision of heaven in Revelation, where he saw God's throne surrounded by a rainbow. So what does this all mean? It means that God loves the Chinese people and he wants them to know him personally. He did not hide himself from them, but he revealed himself through his son Jesus Christ, who came to save them from their sins. He showed them signs in the heavens that testify to his power and his grace. He invited them to receive his pardon and his peace. And he is still doing that today. God is not confined to our knowledge or our understanding of how he works. He has been revealing himself for generations to the generations, and he will continue to do so until he returns. He wants you to know him too. He wants you to believe in his son Jesus Christ, who died for you and rose again. He wants you to experience His love and His joy. If you want to learn more about Jesus Christ and how you can have a personal relationship with Him, please follow this channel and leave a comment. We would love to hear from you and help you discover more about God's amazing plan for your life. Thank you for watching this video and God bless you. Please consider to subscribe and share this video. Leave a like and a comment. Have a great day.